Hello guys, welcome to this new video. So this is going to be question 4 in the May 2023 time zone 1 paper 2. So here we're given a circuit and we are told that the cell has a negligible internal resistance. It has an EMF of 6 volts and we're connecting it to 3 resistors. We know that R is an ohmic resistor and uh, P and Q are not, but their properties are shown on the graph over here. So we're told that the current MP is 0 0.4 amps. So we can draw this here already, 0 0.4. And we need to show that the current in, in Q is 0 0.45. So we need, we're going to need to use the graph over here as this shows the characteristics of P and Q. So we know that there's a current of 0 0.4 amps in a P. So if we look on the graph, from this we can tell that the voltage across P will be 1.4 volts. So we know that there's 1.4 volts over here. And since P and R are in a parallel connection, we know that the voltage across a parallel connection is, say, is the same on both branches as, as, as they are in parallel. It's, it's just a property of being in a parallel connection. So we know that this is also going to be 1.4 volts. And well, if we know that this component here gets 1.4 volts and the entire circuit has 6 volts, then we will know that the potential IQ will just be the remaining voltage. So 6 minus 1.4, which is going to be 4.6 volts, like this. So now we know the potential across each component in the circuit. And well, now we can check what the what the current through q is going to be as we see that if we draw a line so this uh, so we will have to see where this 4.6 volts is on the graph so it goes up in point 2 so this point 2 point 2 point 4 point 6 so if we draw a line here at 4.6 volts we see that when there is 4.6 volts across q then there will be a current of 0 0.45 amps. So we can also draw this here, 0 0.45 amps. And we need to show that the current in Q is a 0 0.45 amps. And well, yeah, we have uh, just shown that. So um, we can write that well, when IP is equal to 0 0.4 amps from the graph, we see that VP will be 1.4 volts. And from this, it also follows that VR is 1.4 volts. It's not so important for the question here but we can still note it down. And then from this, we, we can tell that uh, VQ is going to be 6 minus 1.4, which is 4.6 volts. And so from the graph, so from graph, we can see that when VQ is equal to 4.6 volts. We have a current IQ of uh, 0 0.45 amperes. So uh, this is how you solve the first part. And then we need to calculate the resistance of R. So we know that R is an ohmic component. So we're going to be, we can, we are allowed to use this formula of V equals IR as this formula only works for ohmic conductors. And well, in the questions, it says R is an ohmic resistor. So we're going to need to know the current through R. We only know the potential at the moment, 1.4 volts, but we know that charge must always be conserved. So whenever we have some, uh, some junction and like, let's say current flows this way, and then there will be current flowing this way and this way out of this uh, branch, then what we will know is that well, well, current has to be conserved. Charge is always conserved. So if we label this I1 and I2, 
then the current going into the junction must be the same as the current, com current coming out of the junction. So we know that the current coming in is just I, and the current going out is I1 plus I2. And we know this must hold true. This is like the conservation of energy. It's just that instead of energy, we have charge here. So if we look at this, we could, if we look at our question now, we see that there's a current of 0 0.4 amps, 0 0.45 amps coming into the junction. One, I mean, yeah, 0 0.45, and then there's going to be 0 0.4 amps on the upper branch, which means that we must have a 0 0.05 amps on the lower branch. So now we know the current through Q and the voltage across Q. So we can write I, Q is 0 0.05 amps, and V, Q is 1.4 volts. And so the resistance will just be the voltage over the current. 1.4 divided by 0 0.05. This will give us 28 ohms. And then we need to calculate the total power dissipated in the circuit. Well, for that we just need the, the total current in the circuit and the voltage across the circuit. So here again is just one mark, so we just need to apply this formula. We know the total current in the circuit is 0 0.45 amps and we know the EMF of the battery so the total voltage is 6 volts so from this we see that it will be 2.7 watts and then in the last part of this question we are told that resistor P is removed suggest without any calculations the effect of this on the resistance of Q so if we remove um, we have to remove P. So if we remove this upper resistor, then we will have an increase in overall resistance. As if we have a parallel connection, the resistance of this component decreases from if we would only have one of the components. That's just how the math works out. If you would recalculate the resistance of this component, then you will see that uh, it would increase in this case. If we remove the parallel component, and just leave one of them, then the, the equivalent resistance will increase. So let's write that down. So resistance of R is larger than resistance of R slash uh, P in parallel. So from this it follows that the overall resistance will increase in the circuit. In circuit, as then we will just have two resistors in a series. And since this, this is going to, well, we don't know what's going to happen to this, but since this component is going to increase in resistance, the overall resistance must also increase. So if the overall resistance increases, and we know we have this formula V is equal to IR. So now if we look at the graph, we will, I mean, from the equation, we know that the voltage is constant. And if R increases, then the current must decrease as their product is going to be constant of six as we don't change the battery. So we know the current in the circuit decreases. So current in circuit decreases since we know V is equal to I times R. So if the current is decreasing, it's also decreasing across Q because uh, in a series connection, the current through every component is the same. So the current through Q is going to decrease from this 0 0.45 amps to some value. But this also means that the voltage is also going to decrease. So like maybe the new point will be somewhere over here. Let's say, for example, this might be the new uh, current and voltage across uh, Q. We don't need to calculate, we just need to see how it changes. So we know that resistance is voltage over current. And uh, here 
well it's it's kind of hard to see because both voltage and the current is decreasing and they're not decreasing by the same amount so something is going to happen to resistance we just kind of have to feel and see which com which uh, if what like whether the voltage or the current is decreasing at a faster rate so like if we look at this example we see that the voltage decreased approximately like let's say by like a factor of five approximately as it went from 4.6 to like one and the current only decreased by a factor of let's say a half approximately again we don't need anything precise just to feel the ratios so if the voltage decreased by a factor of five and the current decreased by a factor of one over two if we do this calculation we just multiply by the reciprocal so this will be two fifths of the initial resistance so from this we see that the voltage is decreasing at a faster rate than the current so the resistance of the component will decrease so so the resistance of q will decrease so i mean in this question ib expects us to see this without a calculation i i think it's kind of hard to see this without a calculation you don't need to write down this uh, this little step we did here in the question as we don't need to do a calculation but i still think during the exam even if you're told you cannot do a calculation you can still check for yourself and then based on the answer you can get you can make sure that what you write down just in words is correct and in this way you will write down the correct thing so this was a uh, question four in the may 2023 time zone one paper two i hope it was helpful and uh, see you in the next question